So I got a question recently from a WAEC student asking if WAEC syllabus is really, really necessary for someone to pass WAEC exam. So in today's video, I'll be sharing how WAEC syllabus helped me personally to pass my WAEC exam. So I'm AY and I'm a second year medical student of Laduke Akutola University of Technology. So if you are a returning subscriber, you are welcome. And if you are a new subscriber, please do well to subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video and drop a comment. So let's get right into the video. So basically, while I was preparing for my WAEC exam, that was I started preparation. I wrote my WAEC in 2020. So I started preparation sometimes around November, December. Not like I've not been prepared, preparing for. I started my full preparation around November 2019. Opportunity to meet someone that was that happens to be a student. He was a senior and a close relative. So the student of the University of Ipadon studying English. So I met him to be taking me some aspect of English language. So he was the one that introduced me to making use of Y syllabus. So and I get I got my, then I don't have a phone, so I got my mom's phone, then downloaded all the YX levels for all the subjects, particularly the ones that I need most. I need all of them, but you know, mathematics, English, physics, chemistry, biology were very, very important for me as a medical aspirant then. So I got all the necessary syllables, so and I downloaded, I downloaded everything. So, but I noticed that at some point, anytime I want to borrow my mom's phone, it's not always easy. So I have to save up and get them printed. So I printed all the YX syllables and it was very, very helpful. So then COVID happened and I have enough time for me to prepare. That was early 2020. So we had a whole lot of about six months back then at home. So I used to go to one secondary school very close to us, make use of one of the classroom. So how I studied there is that. And I'm going to be talking about something at the end of this video that if I, if I had not used YX syllabus to prepare, I notice I am likely to fail one or two subjects, yes. So I discovered that at the end of the exam. So while I was preparing, I will ensure that all the topics, I will take each topic that I'm going to read in a day. And I mean, I'm going to read, pick certain topics in the syllabus and I will read them, understand them. So this, the syllabus is designed in such a way that you have the main topic, then you have the subtopics, the things that you are expected to know under those topics that will ask you under those topics. So that's the way the syllabus is designed. And after reading them, they are going to teach them. When I go back home, I'll solve questions on them, ask, carry my past question, solve question, flip through all the whole year in the past question that is for why then solve question on there. So the next day, pick another subject. So the way I do it is that every week I ensure that I study at least two, I mean one subject two times every week. So I study basically every day and then it was very, very like I had um, a whole day for myself. So I, I studied for at least 15 hours. Yeah, when I was preparing for my work then when because my background wasn't that strong. I was the head boy fine, but I knew what I want. So and for me to get it, it's a lot. I, I finished from a public school and not really like we we're not taught, but the the exposure there was not as much as someone that would say, Oh, I want to sit down for my work and pass it myself and at once and make it so I really really don't want to make that mistake so I spend a whole lot of time to prepare for the exam so the next day start reading another thing I make sure I do is that I jot while studying so and I make sure I go back to my jota so maybe I'm going for a program so it was so serious then that even when I'm going for a program I always go along with my jota um when I'm going to when we are strolling out going to any important thing I notice that when even when we are traveling I notice that oh at this point I won't be able to carry my test to read I always hold my jota so the next day um, I'll go back to the school where I used to read, carry and take another pick another topics that I want to study, then study them, after studying them, seek them out from the YX syllabus. So it's just, it's more of a study tracker for me because I was able to track, oh, these are the topics that I have to read today and I read them on like just having them in my textbook and I felt they are not necessary. So seeing them in the YX syllabus make me prioritize them more. And so I talked about a topic earlier that if I had not used YX syllabus, I only that. Um, known about it so it's lesser lesser in physics if you are a science student you should know and if you did not know then you should check it out so lesser is not really really in most textbooks and it's not been taught in secondary school so even why started asking in 2016 yeah so why asked in 2016 they did not ask in 2017 i think they asked in 2017 but they asked in 2018 i'm sure they asked in 2019 so i wrote my work in 2020 and they still asked so imagine if I had not used the YX labels, so I would just feel, okay, maybe they just make a mistake to ask in those years. So making use of that YX labels helped me to read more on that topic, despite the fact that it's not in the textbook. So I get to read more about laser and understand the concepts. So those are part of the things. And I noticed a particular topic too in biology that they did not actually used to teach, but YX used to ask once in a while. So you studying 
the white syllabus is going to help you to track all the necessary topics that other people might not give attention to and why who knows maybe the person that wants to say the question for your WAEC might focus more on that particular topic so one of the things I noticed is that WAEC asks questions practically in all areas of this syllabus so if you make use of the syllabus it will be more easy for you to know oh I've read this topic I've read that topic I've read those topics so if question is coming from there you will easily be able to tackle them and that's just some really how the syllabus techniques to ace my exam so another aspect i'm going to talk about is that you should do more of past question so you know that you're writing theory and objective so do more of past question for the sake of theory why did not really have much of new questions yes so but if you are not if you did not study the past question you will not even know that you did not have new questions so if you're able to highlight the commonly asked questions and you study well i promise you you are going to come out in flying color and have your wife results in just one sixty. If I can do mine, so you too you can do your own. So thank you very much for watching. That's all for today. If you are still watching, please do want to drop a comment if this video interests you and make sure you like, share and subscribe. See you in my next video. Bye.